hoo, hoo, hoo. she is hot today. So as you guys have guessed by the title, this is going to be like a chit chat get ready with me video. So I'm going to go to one of those like um it's like those wine and painting things with a couple of my friends and I'm so excited. I've been literally like playing this for months. I'm so keen. I'll show you the picture that we're going to be like painting. Isn't that just so gorgeous? I'm so excited. To be honest, I haven't painted since high school. It's been a while. And I'm just so keen to like get back into it again. Don't mind me. I'm just going to like be eating as I'm filming. So the first product I'm going to use is this um, 100% Pure Mattifying Primer. And I'm just popping that all on my face. I need something to mattify my skin. Because, honey, I'm going to be sweating. I think it's 42 or something degrees. And that's Celsius too, by the way. But yeah, I was saying, we're going into the city to this, like, vegan, gluten-free, like, Italian restaurant. It's called, like, Salt Meats Cheese. It's, like, near Central Station in Sydney. And it does the best, like, the best gluten-free, vegan, like, cheesy pizzas. So I'm thinking something light, um, just because I'm going to be... It'll be, like, daytime still. I don't actually like wearing a lot of glam makeup in the day. I usually save that for clubbing and nighttime events when I'll go pretty cake face. But, because I'll still be, like, daytime... It's like a daytime into nighttime thing. We're going to dinner and then it'll be like the wine and painting thing. So I don't want to have too much makeup on my face, if that makes sense. I'm quite a light glam, light glam, a soft glam kind of girl. So I've just taken my raw foundation in the shade Honey. But yeah, so we're going to dinner first and then we'll go in and do the painting and wine thing. So it's so fun. It's like... I don't know if you guys have heard about it. We have a fair few places here in Sydney to do it. I found this one in Surrey Hills. So I'll let you guys know like how good it is after I've gone. But I'm so excited. So basically what you do is you drink wine. like You bring, bring your own wine. Bring your own nibblies. And you just paint and chat. And it's a very social thing. I'm just going in with my concealer from Maybelline in the shade Medium Moin. So I'm very, very, very excited for the actual artistic part of it. And my friends that I'm bringing along as well they're quite artistic um as well so we're all like yes let's do this it'll be so much fun so when i actually apply my daytime concealer i actually don't bring it like under here i just apply it to this inner corner area because i get like creasing and with like the harsh sunlight it just doesn't look good so i actually and i don't need it like here i don't really get that much discoloration i actually wouldn't bother wearing concealer, but just because I am going out to a, a nice place, I thought I'd put some on. Usually I'll just do a little bit of foundation and that's pretty much it. I won't bother concealing under my eyes. I'll just like spot conceal where necessary. And then I'm just taking my raw pressed powder in the shade Nude and just placing that over the concealer areas and also where I get oily. So I've just done a review on the Hey Bud like face mask so if it's not up already it will be up very very soon um if you guys actually want an updated like skincare routine let me know down below because i'm happy to actually do one for you so like i said i'm just setting everywhere that the concealer was or that i get oily and then i'm just going to quickly spritz my face with some of my setting spray this is from kat von d it's the locket setting spray so this is how we're looking so far. I just love the skin when it's nice and like, mm, like just just a little bit of something, but not too much. I will bronze and everything in a second. I think I might just quickly do my brows, real quick, like off camera. I'm just going to go in with my two powders and just lightly feather it through. Oh, I might do it on camera just because I do it different, a little bit differently than like usual when I'm keeping it more like natural. So I like to just like fluff up my brows just a little bit just to get the kind of natural shape of them underway so there's nothing hanging down too low or anything then i'll dip in to the deepest shade from the dark brown palette and i'll just start from like the deepest part of the brow so i don't go through the head i just stay through the kind of body to the tail of the brow and i just follow the natural shape of it i more just kind of underline my brow i don't really feel in the tops when I'm going for a more natural look. 
like I'll fill in the tail to about here but I won't bring it up the top and I'll just fill in any sparse areas then I'll go in with the middle shade from the soft brown palette and I'll just give a bit of definition to the head of the brow but nothing too crazy and I'll just grab my spoolie and feather the product into the hairs a little bit more so it's not just sitting there it actually looks like a brow and then I'll put some clear brow gel through it and that's my brows done so next I'm going to bronze up my complexion just a little bit. So on my Chi Chi Tapered Bronzer Brush, I'm going to grab these two kind of warm browns from the NYX Contour and Highlight Kit. And I'm kind of just bronzing up like that number three shape on the face where the sun would naturally hit. So back onto that subject of like vegan places to eat. If you guys want any recommendations, like if you're in the Sydney area or something, I have so many good places that I go to that have so many good vegan, even gluten free options because I'm, I'm both lucky, lucky me. So if you guys want me to do like a video on that or anything, let me know because I always find them so helpful when I go to different places like to know where I can actually eat and what's actually good, you know. So for blush, I've actually been enjoying this Focolor one and I only use it quite sparingly, like I don't really want to put too much on it, like a softer bronzier look um, but I have been enjoying a little bit of blush just on the cheeks and it's got flecks of shimmer in it too which I quite enjoy nothing like glittery just kind of soft gives a bit of a glow to the skin and I just kind of apply it to that W shape across the face so I'm going to take like a few different highlights um, just because I make sure I'm going to first take this middle shade from the Violet Floss palette just apply it to like the cheekish bronzy area then I'm taking the lighter highlight and just popping that on the tip of my nose. And I'm also applying it to just this very high point here. Just as a little bit of an extra pop when you turn your head to that very high point. Ooh, I love that technique. It just looks so good. And I'm just going to go and set my face again. Now I'm like usually one to be like an eyeshadow fanatic. Every time I do my makeup my favourite part is my eyeshadow because you can be so creative and colourful and fun. Today I'm actually going to leave my eyes bare. I've been preferring having um, quite skin focused looks and kind of leaving the eyes with either nothing or maybe just a bit of like a soft brown in the crease. Actually, I might do a little something with my eyes. I'm going to apply a nude eye coal to my waterline, just softly, just to wake you up a little bit. So I did decide to go in with the bold, like, red burgundy kind of look, and I think I will do a little something with my eyes afterwards, but I'm just going to do the lips first. So I'm going to take this lip liner from NYX in the shade Hot Red and just line my lips with it. And then I'm just going to go in with my Folklore... Um, matte liquid lipstick in the shade burgundy. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. I do love a good deep lip. And like I said, I'm going to do a little bit of something on the eyes, but just like a soft brown with a bit of mascara, I think. Because I want the lips to be the kind of statement, you know. So I'm just grabbing a little bit of that soft brown shade and just buffing that through my crease. And I'll also just slightly drag it out under my bottom lash line on the outer corner bit with whatever's left on the brush so there's not really something there but there is a little bit of something there if that makes sense. I'm just going to place just a little wee touch of mascara to my top lashes. So this guys can... Oops. So this guys concludes today's get ready with me little chit chat makeup look. I'm going to go and put my outfit on and then I'm going to head off very very soon. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have an awesome day. I love you all so much and I'll see you very soon. Bye.